Welcome. I'm uh, doing a little bit of a different video and uh, at a different angle too, so I'm not quite sure <laughs> which way to go with the camera. It's kind of backwards. Uh, we are going to try to assemble these Castellan. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. This Castellan robots. As you can see, I've got two of them done. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because of uh, the poses. Uh, the box is buried. Wait a minute. Oh, I got right here. Reach back. You can see right here, the poses that they give you are pretty static, pretty boring, in my opinion. They do kind of, this one's leaning a little bit, but this one is kind of like, you're just standing there a little bit. And that's not, that's not how I see these is going. And so what I've done is, you know, kind of given them more of a advancing kind of stance, as you can see here. Kind of more dynamic. I've actually put this on upside down here so that I could put this uh, weapon on the opposite side of this one here. That was intentional. This one, as you see, is kind of giving a more striding forward kind of stance to it. And so I wanted to show you guys how we achieve that. Probably you guys know how to do that, but maybe, maybe someone doesn't. I don't know. Here's a little card. It's a little data card. I was trying to glue that and put it in one of the grabby claws of the um, little guy who's in charge here, but it wasn't working. I am still going to try that later, so I'm going to put that up there. I'm actually going to throw that up on top of a base there. Okay. I think that landed. Sorry about that. All right. What I have done is... Oh, LT is here. He's going to help me. Help. Help me. We've uh, kept this whole thing apart off the sprue and cleaned it up. Just kind of rough cleaned it up is what I've done. And the reasoning behind that is, oh, it needs a little bit more cleaning right there, is so you can't see my horrible knife safety skills <laughs> right there. And also make this a little easier. I wouldn't recommend doing that. The instructions are fairly good. And I would recommend just cutting off the parts you need at each step of the instructions. So to start off, you'll need these little foot joints right here, like this. There you go. You get the best camera angle here. So the camera is in a position I usually don't have it, so I'm having to work on that. And I did pile these all in a massive pile, so there we go. As I get closer to the construction, I guess I'll figure it out. And if you notice right here, I guess you can get closer. There's a little nub right here on each side of this ball right here, which corresponds. Where's the leg piece? with the kind of hole that's in here and it kind of locks is that the right piece no 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 oh, that's not the right piece ah there it is yeah that's the right piece kind of corresponds with this hole right here in this lower section here and it's supposed to lock that foot in place that's a <laughs> well, what we're gonna do we're gonna get these two legs pieces, or actually all four of these leg pieces, and uh, you mess with this heavy LT, there okay. it is, fourth leg piece, over here, and what I'm going to do with my exceedingly unsafe knife skills is trim off that nub, and it doesn't have to be like perfect because this is actually going to go inside the area here of these two pieces when they go together like that. But it just has to be enough where there's no chance of that locking in again. What I'm going to attempt to do is, or what I've done on the other ones, and I'm going to attempt to replicate on camera, is kind of ragdolling the whole model until it's absolutely necessary to lock it into a position. All right, LT? Yep. So we got these feet. Okay, that's the foot and that's foot. It's like putting your shoes on. Make sure you got the right foot on the right side, right LT? Yep. 
Alright, these Ow. Oh. right here. Make sure I get the right ones. That's not that one. This one right here. Got it. Believe yep, that one goes to that one. And it goes in that direction right there. So what you should be using, this is, is one of them, but is these precision super glues right here, the precision nozzle. Unfortunately, this gel is almost out. Hi. Hi guys. We've been assembling a lot of LT's orcs, and so all I was able to pick up was this extra time control. That is a lot of time. <laughs> it, t it just takes too long for that. And the only thing I could find uh, real quick when me and LT are out yesterday is this regular super glue. This works. Scotch. Not a lot of control with this. <laughs> so I have to be Scotch. very careful. So you guys should be using the precision control. Now I've picked the foot. I know which foot I'm going to grab. <laughs> just kind of, just a light kind of bit of glue here. And what you want to do, you kind of want to get it lined up there, and this will this will glue together in just a second. Right. But as you're getting that, uh, it's kind of hard because you got to do three things at once. Is get the foot in there, in that joint, but you don't want to get any glue on the ball part of the foot. So you almost kind of have to assemble this here, and then <laughs> pop the foot in there and then hold it tight. What I do is try to move this foot joint around here in case any glue did get in there to keep it from locking down on me. So that one's going to be done there. It's gluing right up. And as you can see I've got way serious movement available on this joint. I can set this down and twist and turn this any way I want and get that really really tight it's charging. and uh, that's what I've done on these guys over here on their legs yeah. is once I've set everything then I've just dabbed a little glue in these areas and locked ah. it in place hi. All right. hi guys yeah they see you <laughs> I see I know but these little brother just went down so we're taking a risk because he might might not be totally down uh, he is totally down you think he's totally young? Yeah, I saw him. He wanted me in, but mm -hmm. he just fell fast asleep. He didn't say anything else. He didn't say anything else. So now we've got this second one. Gonna shove that in real quick. Close it back up. Oh, up, up, up. I'm not that great at this. Okay, get it back together. Get it. What? Something's not working for me here. Something's off. Let me look at it. Okay. Mr. Charlie is totally asleep. No, this is not working for me, Auntie. Don't want to go together. There it goes. <laughs> they were finally goes. Show this. It, there we go. Now that's going to be good right there. All right, so I got that together, and it's going to be flippy floppy. Now my orcs. Now. Now my orcs. No, not your orcs yet, old Jim. Oh. We're doing this. You said you wouldn't do this, so we got to do this. Also, uh, when we get to it, you'll notice that right here on these guys, there's movement here. I've left this. I've been careful about the gluing and allowed this area here to move so that these can be positioned in different positions. <laughs> Trying to get a little bit more dynam dynamicism. Is that a word? Okay, so now we got both of our feet. Dynamicism. Schism. Schism. Schisms. All right, so the next That's part we got to put on is this front Help me. Plate, plate right here. Goes right here on the foot like this. So this is pretty easy, but we have to be careful. We don't want any get it glue down in this area where the ball will be sealed up. So I'm just going to kind of do a little bit in this upper area. Actually hold it upside down as I lock that down into place and let it glue a little bit there there we go make sure it's still got movement on the foot I'm gonna set that off to the side and we're gonna dig find the other one got that one going 
and you want to let these dry a little bit I'm pretty quick with my stuff I don't know I usually I don't know just uh, impatient I guess I want to get them together get them get them on the table get them put together get them fielded painted fielded you know out there shooting down the enemy okay paint this them, one is pretty good paint them in this video now the next part are these leg joints here and if you notice right here in the leg joint there's this little tab right here on top what that does is it connects right into the front of this I don't know if that will fit right there see that little hole and it locks this knee joint into place right there so that you it goes in a certain way so what you can do here and this actually takes no gluing at this stage of the assembly okay to do just trim that tab off so it's not there so that here. one's gone take some rope and let me find the other one and this Happy. is modeling with six-year-olds this is how it goes I'm a six-year-old yeah they're six-year-old I'm gonna take a little sip of the beverage here daddy hmm? soon I'm gonna be seven I'm not six anymore you're soon going to be seven that's right I'm six Six years, more than six and a half. Your birthday's in just a few days. More right. than just a few. Okay, this puts like goes this way. All right, there we go. So this one, for now, oh, got it backwards. We're just gonna <laughs> kind of mm. pop that into place right there. So we got full movement of this joint. Not gonna glue it yet because now we have. Some movement here of how we can move the leg get some movement on the foot joint we're gonna have movement up here on the ball on the hips when we put this hip piece here together right there so we'll get that in just a second I'm gonna pop this other leg into the knee joint there let that glue up some more okay so we've got those together we'll lay those over there not creating too much of a glare there. Like that light. Got the daylights on above us. So it's still trying to figure out this whole lighting situation. Uh, this faceplate, that head. Alright, now time to get the hip joint together. LT, please turn those lights back on. Lord, if you're going to help, come help. Okay, there's two words in the dictionary help and hinder. You're, um, you're only fulfilling one of those dictionary definitions at this point. I usually tend to glue myself to my projects a lot, so... In fact, the other day I went to take a, a picture with my uh, smartphone there. It's a new one. Samsung, it has a like, fingerprint, and I have it set to my thumb. I don't know if you can see the glue on my thumb. But it wouldn't unlock because... Uh, <laughs> My thumb was covered in super glue and it didn't recognize it. So here we go. We've got the hip joint. Now this little tab right here, you would think you would need to cut that little tab off, but no, let me put the body together here. See the hole that's in the bottom of that? Mm -hmm. This little tab right here ain't stopping that from moving at all. So that's not necessary. Necessary to cut that off. Necessary. Right necessary. 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 All right, here we go. So what we're going to do <laughs> is we're just going to yeah. figure out a pose for this guy that we want to do here. How about like this? You know, put this leg back. Oh, oh, oh. This knee forward. Knee back. Hip joint. Oh, got this hip backwards. <laughs> There's also little nubs on the hip. All right? Can you see that? Yeah. Right there. Those do have to come off because there's holes in there. There's lock them. Forgot about that. So just what? right here on these. Thank you. Just quickly trim those off right there. There's little nubbins. Just doop. goodbye nubbins. So now you got the hip. <laughs> the hip can move fully in this socket. The leg can bend in a number of positions. You just got to figure out the one that you want to use. So I may get this guy kind of leaning to the side. I like that. I kind of do like that. So then, what I'm going to do here 
I'm going to start at the hip on the one leg. Probably put way too much glue in there, like normal, but I don't have the precision glue, as I said. Kind of lay this down, like, at the side a little bit. Want the angle to be right. Hold it for a minute. There we go. Okay, so I can lock all these in place, but I'm not going to quite do that because I need to make sure with this positioning, I can get this other leg to do exactly what I want it to do. <laughs> I knew that would hurt. So we're going to bend this knee joint here a bit, down some, put this here, get this one back in place. Okay, we want this one here, this a bit, there, yeah, that'll work right like that. I won't have to put another base on there. Yeah, that's how we're going to do that. Okay, so. As you can see on this one, I put another 25 millimeter base under that foot because it was raised just a little bit. I was wondering if I might have to do it on this. I'm not going to, so what I'm going to do here is right in here, I'm just going to oh, dab a lot of glue. You should only dab a little bit of glue. <laughs> dab some on the feet here. Oh, I don't want, don't want my angle straight. Here, Dad. We're going to glue this down. All right, we, whoops, get the camera going. We finally got it on there. It is a very pushing, rushing forward pose that we got it in there. Kind of liking it so far. So let's see what we can do with the other leg. Hopefully I can get this one in place and glue down without as much trouble as I had with the last one. Okay, this one. Let me see how this is going to work. Like, yeah, mommy's home. Just like this. I'm gonna, oh, no, it's DJ. Oh, DJ. DJ's home. DJ's home. Go tell him we're recording, so. Recording. Over there. Whoops. To get that, to make this steady, because he'll be just on that one foot, but I'm going to go with this for now. I'm going to glue the knee joint lightly, and then this foot, I'm going to put a little glue down in there. And twist it back where it was. There we go. Very, very dynamic side view here. Pose going on here. We've got. Sorry for all the crazy going on, but it's about the only time I can do this and get this whole thing assembled. <laughs> so. Come back. So we're gonna do it. Oh, put that pirate ship down. We're not gonna. We're not All reviewing right. the pirate ship yet, Elsie. So I'm gonna just quickly do the head here because the head is not a big deal here? right now. And uh, there's really not a lot of posability in the head, head that you can do. Here, put Unfortunately, just set that in there. Oop. I got glued to it again. I took apart. I'm going to put it in Skeletron side. I'm always getting glued to this stuff. A little bit more glue around the head. Can I put this in Skeletron's head? No. Do not do that. It will actually get stuck. Glue this together. I think I'm glued to this whole model at this point, but ah, we made it. A lot of my Space Marines always tell people that uh, the textured flesh look on their small tiny heads is not from painting or anything it's actual flesh that's been ripped off by the super glue so we just put that together like that not a lot you can do with that part and we are going to set him on this in a very forward position i believe oh you're not even on the screen uh they're in a very forward position uh, oh that leaning forward there we go much like this i think this is going to work out so, let's get that started. Throw that on there. Doo -doo -doo, little glue. Like, oh, uh, teenagers were all asleep. Now they're suddenly waking up because I decided to do something. It's the way of the world, isn't it? Do we want him? Do we want him? Do we want him? Like this. Oh, yes. Kind of facing off to the side as he's running. I like this, this pose. 
Okay, is it? Yeah. Here we go. This is what we're going to do. Right here. It's kind of a uh, turn there like this. Kind of looking off to the side there as he's trouncing through. So let's go. Moving on to the next few pieces. Now these weapons, you got to make sure you get the right two pieces. Here's this piece. Kind of have to do the same I did with the bottom ankle joints there. Just kind of put the glue and kind of set everything together. Not the, uh, this is the side you want to do it on because there's a part right here, this extra armor piece here. <gasps> that sticks out that you can kind of hold on to while you put the glue on the rest of it. You want to be very light in this back area because you don't want any glue getting down in the area where the arm sits in it right here this little part of the arm because that will be what you want to be free and if you glue it it will not be free to rotate and oh so yeah kind of get them close together set this piece in and smoosh it all together there you go and just like the bottom ankle pieces I try to rotate this a little bit to uh, make sure that the if there's a little bit of glue in there it's broken free and thinned out really good and dries super fast while I'm still able to break it and keep the um, it from sticking together there. so we got that arm and these are, I'm gluing these together there's there's a way to magnetize these but this right here this is the weapon configuration I'm going with with the, the flamer and then the two um, guns here. Uh, a, a lot of people go with the three guns, but I always like having a flamer. And I looked at ranges and how I wanted things to be. And the way I want to work with this unit, these units, is uh, hopefully this is the loadout that's going to work. You know, kind of got the codex beside me while I'm putting models together. <laughs> Because I, I don't magnetize a lot. Sometimes I magnetize, but not a lot. I tend to go with an idea or a fluffy look with a model. And then just use that. And sometimes if it really, really doesn't want to work well, then I have to go out. Oh, that's too far. I have to go out and buy more models and model them a different way. It's not exactly the... Well, it's cost-efficient way of doing it, but it, it's the way I do it, so which yeah makes it not the most cost-efficient way. Now I haven't put these little foot pieces on, and this one I'm going to have to kind of work in there a little bit. Oh, but uh, the other one will be pretty easy to put on, so I'm going to go put that one on right now. Put the foot armor on there. Oh, got it. Oh, uh, yes, he's even closer now. Got that one good. Still on. This one, we might have some issues getting exactly where it needs to be, so I might have to do some on. model working here. <laughs> cutting out some pieces here. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. What's, I'm, this? Oh, what's what? I don't know what that is. Just cutting out some of these. Areas in here. I think that's an area. So I can slide this in where I want it to be. Being absolutely not careful enough not to cut myself. And being a great example for LT, right, LT? Hey, uh, hey. What? What we... Okay, well, the piece that LT is looking for, it's twin. These go on the back here, so I'm just going to throw them on real quick before this one goes missing. Right there. Just a little Vince. Well, We'll find it. Alright. Now I'm going to put these little armor pieces here. Just two little, I don't know, um, thigh guards. I'm going to put some guards armor right games. there. And another thigh guard right there. We're going to throw this on. I'm going to put this on 
Looks like it's a short one, so we're going to put it over here in this leg. It just fits up in this area here. Just plop it in, and it's good to go. All right, I am going to put this guy's backpack on the correct way, which I believe is that way. This way, All right? Yeah. Okay, so just a little dab of glue would do you. That's the last guy you're going to do. You know, I still have one more of these to do. Whoa! Yeah, we got four of them. So we're just going to dab it and glue that right there. <gasps> now this piece here yeah. for the chest, and you dab notice dab I didn't put the data card. There's tiny little cards on the sprue that go in these. Like I said, I've got them over there, and I'm going to try to put them in the claws of the little, um, I forget his name, but the, the, this little guy here that uh, controls these robots. So I've got them up there. That's what I want to do with them. And besides, I am going to put this right here, just a little bit of glue. This front plate in here, which covers all that up anyway. I like the front plate. I like that. Okay, now we've got to do this piece right here. And uh, we will be right back because I have to find some pieces, LT Loss. See you in a second. We are back. We found the one piece we needed and I am just going to uh, do a little modification right here on this dagger right here LT's moping a little bit because we had to discuss touching things <laughs> but he's okay there we go and we are going to take this dagger and set it right here across this and we're just gonna say that's a weapon or something that the user let me get some glue on there has stationed right there since we don't have the little nubbin that we need to cover that little vent there oh I lost it now it's glued to his butt LT he's got a butt sword there we go uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way that that looks a little bit better like that. And it's, this is a Skatari weapon as well, so. So. There we go, that looks better. I'm going to hold it there for a second like that. Yeah, there we go. It's a little weapon he's got glued on. <laughs> he's got stationed on the back of his dude. All right, we're going to put this thing together right here. All you really need to do here is just glue in this area. Now, you can totally magnetize this whole thing, but I'm not. Like I said, I'm just going for the look and feel that I want to have with this. And so, it might not exactly work for some, for some people because they want to be able to switch the weapons, but I am perfectly fine with not being able to switch the weapons. So just a little more dab and dab right there. And this little flame, flamer fuel canister, I guess, fits right in there. That fits right up top. Turn him around here. Just put a little glue in this area right here where this is supposed to sit. And I kind of want this kind of like that. Maybe back a little bit. I need my orc box. Because I'm sitting out space I'm sitting out my space marines and my orcs. No, you can do your space marines, but you're still working on your orcs, buddy. It doesn't matter. I just be a while for them already. Okay. I just need my normal team of orcs. Got him so far. Now we want to kind of get him. He's got a sword on his. When his arm's kind of like he's. I want this one kind of facing out like this. So I'm going to glue it extremely out instead of like together so put my majority of my glue right here on this area spread it around just a little hold it there just kind of like this I'm gonna set him flat for a second I want it to be just like that okay there he goes 
Yeah, there he goes. Got it. Maybe even like like this backwards. No, he's gonna be running and gunning, right? So this one needs to be kind of. Whoop! Lost the sword. Gonna have to glue that right back on. Put too much pressure on it. Yeah, like this. This one's gonna have to be extremely pressed in in the front, and not so much in the back. Let's get that in there. Just hold it just a second. This is fairly quick drying super glue here that I've got on this other one, so it's not not the best hobby glue. <laughs> there it goes. So there we go. I'm trying to get the best. He's dynamically positioned like this. It's uh, it's kind of run gunning right here. And this is a little video that we did, me and LT. LT helped so much to uh, show exactly how you can really turn these Castellan robot guys into something way more dynamic than they are. Alright guys, if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Comments are really appreciated. I'm not a master modeler, so hints and tips would be awesome. And subscribe to the channel for updates on these kind of things. Battle reports. Warhammer type video games, other interesting stuff that I find out. And uh, as always, we, him and I, will talk to you later.